Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are here to do a 12 by 12 layout. It is in fall colors on this Thanksgiving day. I want to wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are enjoying time with the family that you can with a lockdown. I mean, you can only do so much, am I right? This is, um, this layout is a layout of photos of Kathy and I, I'm so sorry, Kathy. I just had a brain fart. That is so funny. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and scrap these photos of Kathy and I. Now, I did scrap these once already, but I thought even though Kathy is also a scrapbooker, I'm going to do my take on it and send her my layout. So this one is actually for her. I do still need to write a little love letter on there for her. But other than that, it is going to be complete at the end of this layout so you saw i did gut out the center of that brown piece of paper that brown piece of paper is from close to my heart it was kind of like an adventure um collection that we had come out a couple months ago i cannot remember the name of it i know that's terrible well i gutted it because i wanted to have some of that brown to map my photos in it's okay though i am putting some white cardstock on the back to cover up that hole and just you know make it more sturdy and pretty back there no one looks at the back, but you never know, right? So I am just going to mat these on here like that. They have a quite a large uh, border around them. The top and bottom seems to be like more of a quarter of an inch. <laughs> well, the sides sit at a <laughs> more like half an inch. I am using my Hip Kit Club kit from november so i don't know where everything comes from i did use this plaid piece i think that could be an amy tan but i might be wrong um we are going to be using some circle punches that i am punching out of this paper right here it's a maggie holmes paper i'm going to use several of those navy blue ones i don't use all the ones i punched out i do end up also pulling in a cream color piece of grid cardstock just to get some more colors in a different Hmm. And like a different tone or, you know, a different pattern. I didn't have that much left of this kit is what I'm saying. So yes, I had to pull in another paper to go ahead and make that work. I do go ahead and start laying the circles down. I put this tag down. It's not going to make it, but I'm trying. I'm seeing what I want to do here. I'm not following a sketch. I'm basically using leftover pieces. I am going to use that strip I put up at the top. It has those flowers on it. Now that strip of paper is the same paper that it is on the opposite side of that plaid now when I originally have these down I tuck in the floral paper underneath and I really like how that looks you, looking back at it now I really like how that looks I'm actually gonna pull those floral pieces uh, away from the photo cluster and kind of make them their own little thing so yes it is gonna end up different when I glue everything back down than it did when I started I did use those Jen Hadfield word phrases you can see where I put it on um that piece extra piece of wood grain it says thankful for you that is my little note to kathy right there i am inking the edges of everything with the close to my heart espresso ink now these are some stickers puffy stickers that came or they're actually more like a foam sticker they came in the hip kit um kit I don't recall who the manufacturer was, but these were ones that I was previously going to use and didn't end up using them. So I just put them on the front of the packaging, right? Onto the plastic, um, the crinkly plastic. Yeah, they did not want to come off of that. So I would not actually advise doing that. I've never done that before. It's uh, probably something everybody knows about, but I did not. <laughs> and it, they did not want to come off. In fact, there was a big heart one that I really wanted to use. I would kind of ripped it in half, so that didn't happen. Here's what I was talking about when I said I took the floral pieces and pulled them away from the photo cluster. I do leave, leave like that gap right there um, between the bottom, and then I also leave the gap at the top. But when I put the circles down, I do make the circles come very, very close to touching, but not quite. So we are just going to have like, basically those are going to be our three clusters. They're going to be three strips, strip, strip, and strip, right? Technically, I think if you look at it, there's probably more like four <laughs> clusters on here. But guess what? Don't care. Don't care. I think it's cute. Love it, love it, love it. I'm really glad that I got to use one of those frames. That was actually a lot of fun. And then also those die cuts I'm going to be pulling in right here. Those are those Jen Hadville die cuts that came in the kit. 
so hard to use. They've got like this big uh, border around them. You can just trim them off, but sometimes you don't feel like it because you're a little bit on the lazy side. I'm raising my hand right here. So I am going to be using some of those trees and I am not going to end up trimming the border off around them. Normally I might, but apparently on this day when I was doing this, I was like, meh, and just went ahead and left it there. Even that green one, that green, not even the same kind of green that's even in this layout, but I don't care. I got three trees and that's really cute. So there you go. That yellow is a little bit um, different as well, but it's a way closer to the match than the green is. So I am going to go ahead and commit to the placement of everything. You did see it took me a long time, man. I shuffled these circles around. I'd shuffled those flowers around especially quite a bit. That is where I have space for my journaling on that little dot that I just put down, that little circle. But there's also a little bit room at the one at the top. So that's not very long of a love note. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up having to put some strip journaling on there. Or maybe I'll just send a note to her on a layout every so often. <laughs> and we'll just be have a continuing uh, conversation that way. Layouts flying back and forth. That'd be kind of cool, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and commit to this cluster up here. Now, you, I don't know if you can actually tell this, but I, I don't know what it was, but the trunks of the trees were really, really bothering me. So in the green one and the yellow one, I made sure the trunks were covered up by stickers because I don't, it was just like bam in your face. You can kind of see it on the one over on the left-hand side. You can see that trunk hanging down a little bit, and you can kind of tell how it's in your face a little bit. That one I cut because... I just had it underneath that raccoon's tail. All right, guys, I did put some gold splatters on here after that. I don't do anything else to this layout. I hope everybody has a very happy Thanksgiving. Please, please, please be safe and keep your distances, guys. Love you. Bye.